Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to fish for channel cats, but you know I usually like to use fresh cut bait, but there is an alternative. If you can't get cut bait, you can always use chicken livers. And what I did folks, I just went to the store and I bought myself a package of chicken livers right off uh, from the grocery counter. And then uh, very simply, I got a piece of uh, mesh that we use to tie row bags for for trout fishing and I put a piece of liver in the mesh as you can see here tied the mesh and now I've got it on my hook that mesh is just gonna help hold that liver onto my hook uh, otherwise it's very difficult to, uh, to to keep liver on your hook and I've got a t-turn bait rig on there that I'm gonna use today and uh, we're gonna see if these uh, chicken livers produce. I know they work well. A lot of people been writing in and say, you know what, can you do an episode for chicken livers? And here you go, folks. We're gonna do it today, so stay tuned. Oh my goodness, folks. I gotta tell you, he just took off like a bullet. But I gotta tell you about the bite. It was a bite, tug, stop, tug, stop. It's almost as if they want the bait, but they know it's not something they're accustomed to eating. So I, I got to say, I was nursing this bite for 10, 15 minutes at least. But it feels like a nice channel cat. And boy, did he give me a good run. And the thing with the chicken livers, the reason why I like using that trout mesh is because it's mesh and it helps give off the scent. And it also helps contain it on the hook. So it's got a lot of advantages to using that that mesh that we use for a trout for row bags. This feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say that's a nice fish right there, folks. Let's see if I can get it in the net. Oh, he's gonna take another run. Okay. Come on, Mr. Channel. Oh, <laughs> this is really something. Oh, he's going again. He's going again. Let's see, come on. Come on, there we go. Oh, in the bag. There's a nice channel cat there, folks. Oh, yes. Okay. You can see, well, let's get him out. There's my, my chicken liver in the little sack there. He ate half of it, but what a strange bite. I gotta tell you, that was really, really something. Okay, there we go. Not a huge fish, but I'm gonna say a real nice start. There we go. Hey, beautiful catfish. And he took the chicken liver. So, let's get this guy right back in again. All right, now I know I got more chicken livers here. Let me, let me freshen up with another, another sack. Where'd I put them? Okay, now this one I've tied a little smaller, as you can see. I've actually tied it almost just like I would a row bag for trout fishing. But you see the mesh, that's gonna give off a lot of that scent. And, uh, and the, this will go through very nicely, and that's gonna hold on that hook very, very nicely. So it's gonna stay on the hook, the mesh is gonna give off the scent, allow the scent to give, and uh, that makes for the perfect combination. I'm a little wrapped up here, I think. Let's take a look. Here we go. And as you can see, my T-turn's working nicely as usual. All right. I'm gonna go back out here a bit. Okay, let's give it a cast out there. But again, the bites are really, really strange. We'll see what happens with this one, if it's the same kind of bite or if it's that more aggressive, typical channel cat bite. But anyhow, off to a great start. The sun just went down, which is nice. We got a little chop in the water. I'm loving it. <laughs> Looks like the chicken liver bite is on big time today. Same thing, folks. Very, very patient on the bite. You think he's dropped it and let go? He hasn't. He's still there. He's just figuring out if it's something he could eat or not. And I'm telling you, it's just a game of patience. And, uh, and patience is paying off. The chicken liver is working. And you know me, I love to use fresh cut bait. And fresh cut bait is a fantastic bait for catfish. But the thing with chicken livers is, it's readily available. Just go to the grocery store, pick it up, and you're gone fishing. And it's a simple way to fish. Tie on a T-turn bait rig, add your, uh, add your chicken livers, and you're fishing. 
and this one feels like another decent fish. They are strong. These channel cats are strong. If you've never fished for channel catfish, you got to give it a try because they are a lot of fun to catch. As are the blue cats as well and the flatheads, but we don't have those here in our area, so we'll settle for channel cat. And I think I've got a decent one on. Oh, I just saw a boil. I just saw a nice boil. Oh, okay. And I know he's going to make a run when he comes to the boat. Oh, 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 oh. Like I said, I think he's going to take a run when he comes to the boat. Oh my, that was a good run. Now, when, when that happens, you have to make sure you back off on your drag. So it's okay to have the drag fairly tight when you're bringing them in. Oh, that's a good channel cat. It's okay to have it tight, but then you got to loosen it up right at the boat. Or if you're fishing from shore, loosen it up right at the shoreline and let them go. This is a good fish. Real good channel cat. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a good fish, folks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Mr. Channel. I don't want to lose you. Oh, my. Oh, come on in the net. Come on in the net. Oh, 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 oh. folks, we got ourselves a beautiful channel cat here. Oh, my. And he took the chicken livers. This is going to be a two hander, I think. Oh yeah, uh, I've broken nets before lifting these channel cats out. Oh, we got to get a weight on this one somehow. That's a good fish, real good fish. And you can see my mesh there. Uh, okay, and you notice that liver bag that I had wasn't that big. It wasn't a real huge sack of liver, so it was, it was a nice size, but just not huge. And the hook set? right in the bottom jaw oh look at this fish folks let me get him out for you oh let's get him out for you big female oh that's a big channel cat <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good channel right there folks big heavy fish i'm going to try to get a weight on this fish let me get let me get a weight on this fish okay i got my photo up now we're going to get a weight on this fish. I'm going to say 18 to 20 anyhow. So we are reading 21, 21 and 8, 21, I'm going to say 21 and a half pounds. And the net is about one and a half pounds. We got a 20 pounder right here. It would take off a pound and a half for the net. And there we go. A nice 20 pound channel cat. Look how thick this fish is. Oh, I can barely hold it. Look how thick this fish is. Oh, beautiful fish. 20 pound channel. Okay, okay, see you later. <laughs> oh boy, the chicken livers are working, folks. You know what that means. I've got to get myself another one on and I got to get right back out there again. This is great fishing. Okay, folks, I've been nursing another bite here for about five minutes, so I'm, I'm hoping to be able to set the hook real soon. Oh, he's picking it up, he's picking it up. Oh, he's picking it up, he's coming towards me. See how he's coming towards me with it, with the bait. He's coming towards me. Coming towards me, coming towards me, coming towards me. Oh, this one's being more aggressive. Does he still have it? Oh, there's a bit, there's a bite. He's still got it, he's coming towards me. Still coming towards me. Still coming towards me. Come on, give me, oh, 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 oh. Yes, there we go. Oh, okay, feels like a smaller fish. But you see what I mean about nursing these bites. Okay, that's a bullhead, that's why it's different. Okay, let's just bring him in. Oh, look at there, a bullhead. So he picked it up, swam towards me. He was just picking it up and swimming towards me. But honestly, he, he was biting for over five minutes, this bullhead was. Okay, we'll get him back in. 
nice beautiful yellow bullhead catfish and you know what liver is not expensive freshen it up if your line's been in there for 10 15 minutes freshen up your bait i gotta get back out there freshen the bait freshen the bite another real real subtle subtle bite folks it's a patience game but you know what it's well worth it Okay, let's see what we got here. Doesn't feel anywhere near as big as the the other one, but he feels bigger than the bullhead, so. But this is something, folks. You're getting a variety of sizes of fish here. Variety of channel cats and also bullhead, all on the chicken livers. Okay, let's see if I can at least get a look at this one. And, oh yeah. Like I say, not as big as that last one, but, oh. But he's got some spunk. He's <laughs> definitely strong. Okay. He's got a lot of energy left in him. And I got to keep him away from the anchor lines. Oh, boy. Where is he going? Okay. He might be on the anchor line, folks. This is going to be interesting. Let's see. Let's see what I could do here. Okay. Around we go. And he is on the anchor. Okay. He is on the anchor. It's a nice channel cat too. Let's see if I can somehow land this fish. Come on, Mr. Channel. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Well, he, there you go. I knew it was bound to happen. He broke my line. Oh, well, that's okay. I was gonna release him anyhow. You know what, folks? Chicken livers. Give them a try. Get some mesh. If you can't get some mesh, even uh, ladies' pantyhose will do. But if you use the pantyhose, just cut bigger holes in them. You wanna make sure you release as much scent as possible. I'm gonna tie on myself another T-turn bait rig get baited up and go back out there again. Folks, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. It's always great to see you and until next time, good luck.